Welcome back. Our next guest is a brilliant stand-up comedian. We are honoured that he is here making his US network television debut right here on The Late Late Show tonight. You can see him live in LA, Portland and Seattle this fall. Please welcome your new favourite comedian. It's Jamali Maddox. <laughs> What's going on? What's good? How's everyone doing? Hey, yes, nice to be here. I am from England, and I know I'm not the guy off the brochure, but I am <laughs> from England. It's weird, because the thing is, like, when you look like this, because nobody knows where I'm from. <laughs> like, everywhere I go, they think I'm from somewhere else. Like, genuinely, everywhere I go. Like, in England, they think I'm from Pakistan. I went to Israel, and they thought I was from Palestine. <laughs> here, they think I'm from Arabia. I realised that I look like every race that every country hates. Like, just <laughs> universally, those guys. <laughs> Thank you for that one clap. I appreciate that one clap. <laughs> I'm 31 now. 31, which is trash. Hate being 31. I realised... I realised that I've become irrelevant. I realised I'm just irrelevant now. I'm at that weird stage of irrelevancy like, I know what TikTok is, but I don't know why. Like, I'm there. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you. The videos are too quick. Like, I've just opened my eyes and the video's done. Like, I want to <laughs> see more video. I know I'm irrelevant. I, just when I really knew I was irrelevant, it happened like six months ago. I was in London and I got into a fist fight with another 30 year old man. And halfway through the fight, we both just looked at each other and went, should we have a break? It's like, at that point, <laughs> I knew I was done. Realised a lot about I realised I'm soft. Realised about that self, I realised I'm soft. I really thought I was a survivor. I am not a survivor. <laughs> I am not built for this life, I'm telling you. I realised this is I was in LA. I was in LA and I was downtown LA. I was getting an Uber and I'm sitting in my Uber. I get out of the Uber and I left my phone in the Uber and I tried to chase the Uber, but I'm not as fast as a car. <laughs> and it's gone. And then once I realized that I have my no phone and I have nothing and my phone is everything. It's everything. It's my communication. It's my money. It's everything. And there was at no point did I think about surviving? I didn't go, man, I better learn how to read a bus, have a conversation. I literally looked up, looked to the side and went, well, I live here now. That is it. I live here now. And I saw a bunch of homeless people and I was like, they're not even homeless people. They're just people that have left their phones in Ubers. <laughs> and now they live here now. Trying to sort out my life, trying to get better. I started getting therapy. That's my new stuff now, I go therapy. The best way to explain therapy is each week I go and I hear the most juiciest gossip, but it's all about me. Like, it's just all stuff I've done. I'm like, what, his dad said what? Oh yeah, that was my dad, my dad said that. <laughs> gotta fire my therapist. I gotta fire him because he has too much fun. <laughs> He'd be giggling and stuff. I'd be like, yeah, I think the session's about to end. He goes, yeah, yeah, but what happened with that girl? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, well, you might find out next week. <laughs> Leave him on a cliffhanger. <laughs> I don't know if this is funny, but I like saying it. My therapist said to me that, like, I've, <laughs> I've got to do stuff that makes me feel more safe and secure. So I just bought a samurai sword. <laughs> That was my answer. I was just there like, go away feelings. <laughs> Therapist says that I like chaos too much. I think that's true. Like, I like chaos. And I realised that from a young age, because I remember one time, when I was 16, I got hit with a brick. <laughs> right, OK, it sounds worse. <laughs> All right, basically, I'm hanging out with my friend Jay, and my friend Jay says to me, he goes, he goes yo, Jamali, we're going to go burglar house. And I said, bruv, I ain't burgling no house. And he goes, what are you, a coward? So I burgled a house, because I ain't no coward. <laughs> so me and Jay go burgle his house. Now, we didn't know somebody was home, so we, like, we burgling. And it's one of them houses that's so posh that it's dusty. Like, we're just <laughs> taking books and stuff. And then we see this old man at the top of the stairs, and I'm thinking, oh, crap, 
what are we going to do about this old man? So we hide. About four or five minutes later, this old guy finds us and he starts beating me with a brick, right? <laughs> My friend Jay runs away because uh, he's a good friend. Um, <laughs> he's in prison now. <laughs> anyway, right, so... <laughs> get, get hit with a brick and I'm bleeding and I run out of the house and the last thing I heard the guy say, he shouts up to his wife and he goes, you see that? You see that, Margaret? You said I was paranoid sleeping with a brick. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, come on. What a man now. What a star. Jamali Malis, you can see him live. Jamali Malis.com. We'll be right back, everybody. Oh, yeah.